Tucson, returning thousands of people to the dark ages and even canceling the first day of school for some. Not in your sides, Jessica Chapin shows us how they are getting the lights back on. That's right, Guy, out here we've got closed roads and we had canceled classes. And of course, it was a very dark and hot night for thousands of residents. That's all because of these power poles back here. 15 of them blew down during last night's storm, and it was a big reminder to everybody who hasn't already to get prepared. The cleanup is underway after a storm swept through the south side. Fierce rain and wind took out these power poles and electricity for more than 4,000 people. A lot of winds, debris and air, um, and violent and, and sometimes. Uh, rain was coming down hard. Bob Hall is cleaning up his yard. When he came home around 8 last night, it was lights out. Candles, flashlights, and you know, and uh, be patient. Tucson Electric Power put in a temporary fix until they get these poles back up, which could be at least a couple of days. But some people prepared for the long haul. Just one big sudden blast of air and you hear a big old noise and that was it. Lights out, everything's out. And when this man saw the poles go down, he got moving. I figured what was in the refrigerator would hold up well in the ice box. With a cooler for the frozen food and plenty of flashlights. It's a reminder for everyone. Monsoon storms can send you packing when they pack a punch. Do you think now you're a little bit more prepared if this happens again? Definitely more prepared because uh, monsoon, you never know how a monsoon's going to act. And you never know Mother Nature is in charge and we just follow, I guess. We're in. Now, some of those students in the three Sunnyside schools uh, did get an extra day of summer. We'll have their story coming up at 6. Jessica, any word on when they'll have a permanent fix? Yes, I actually just got off the phone with Joseph Barrios uh, with, with TEP, he's the spokesperson, and he wanted to emphasize that this is one of the first priorities, getting that temporary fix, restoring power in the meantime. And he says this work could continue until about Thursday or Friday. All right, Jessica, thank you.